Hello everyone, our today's question is, if a fair coin is tossed 10 times, find the probability that the head never occurs consecutively. That means together HH you cannot see here. Since it's given a fair coin here, the probability of getting heads is half and the probability of getting tails is also half since it's a fair coin. Now the problem is you cannot directly calculate this figure because there are 10 coins are tossed as you can see this is you can see 10 events are happening and 10 even are independent. As you can see, probability of next coin is not affecting the probability of previous coin. Similarly, probability of the next to next coin is not affecting the previous one. So these are independent binomial trials you can say here. Now directly you cannot calculate because it's for 10 coins here. So you have to make cases. Because right now we don't know how many uh, heads are there. So we need to take the cases here. So let's say we have zero heads. Okay. Now if we have zero heads, it is possible, yes, it's possible to arrange uh, 10 tails here. It's possible to arrange 10 tails in such a way that no head to no two heads are together. So in this case, it will be 10 C0. That means assigning the position of head and that is not there. So out of 10 position, I'm going to select zero. Now, next case is case two. This is one heads and nine tails here. That is Kurama. So it is possible to, to get two heads consecutively. No, it's not possible because number of heads we have is one only. So it is not possible. Now again, I'm going to use a here gap method and, and I'm sure all of you are well aware of the gap method. Anyway, I'm going to brief in the next case because this will be easy. So nine here, sorry, 10 tails are here. 10 tails will generate 10 gaps. Out of the 10 gaps, I'm going to cover this heads in one of the gaps that is 10 C1. So case three. Let's say in case three, we have two heads and then eight tails here. Now it is possible to have two tails, two heads consecutively because they are saying no two heads occurred consecutively. So H and H in the arrangement is not possible at all. Later on, I'm going to write the probability. First, I'm writing the cases. So eight heads will generate how many gaps? I'll show you here. So let's say we have uh, tails here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can see here. Now eight tails we generate nine gaps as you can see like this. These are the gaps and this gaps can be occupied by the head two heads. Okay. So if I place them in the any gaps, let's say this gap and this gap, the arrangement will become this remaining gaps which I'm not filled will go as it is. So this arrangement will be T H T H and then followed by T T T and all. So this is the gap method. The eight T will generate nine gaps out of nine gaps. I'm going to select two of them. So that no two H are together. So this way I'm going to calculate the number of ways in which I can arrange them. Later on, I'm going to write the probability. Let me read this part. Now case four. Case four is uh, three heads and three heads and uh, seven tails here. Now same way I'm going to do it. Seven tails will generate eight gaps. Out of eight gap, I'm going to select three. Similarly, case five. Case 5 is 4 heads and then here we will have 6 tails. So 6 tails will generate 7 gaps. Out of 7 gaps, I am going to select, uh, you can say 4 of them here. Case 6 here. That is 5 heads and 5 tails. Now after this, the game will change here because right now they are equal equal. Okay. Now 5 tails uh, will generate how many gaps? 6 gap here. Out of 6 gap, we need to select 5 and that is 6 ways only. Now next case is case seven. We have six heads and four tails. In this case, if you do it from gap method, you're doing wrong because right now using gap method, I'll show you using gap method. You'll say that four tails will generate five gaps and out of five gaps, you are selecting six. So five, six, six, you can feel it. This is completely wrong. And okay. In this case, what you can do is you can visualize like this. Let's say you have uh, four tails like this. You arrange four tails, 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 and tails here. This will generate five gaps as you can see. Now you try to place six heads in five of the gaps. It is impossible because let's say you arrange them alternatively. Let's say heads, tails, heads, tails, next heads, tails, next heads, tails. Okay, so we have how many uh, four tails here. And then head, head will come. No matter where you arrange the heads, two heads will come consecutively. So in this case, the answer will be here. The answer will be zero here. So it is not possible. Total number of cases in this will be zero. So we can generalize something here. If the number of heads are greater than 
you can say if they are equal then that's fine if they are greater than tails it is not possible to arrange given that two heads never occurred consecutively so this case is not possible now if you look at the probabilities because we have calculated the number of uh, you can say number of ways we calculated here i'm going to calculate now probability so for each event you can say they are independent because 10 coins are tossed here so probability of one event will be 1 by 2 since it's a fair coin so here in the first case we have you can say 10 tails here so 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 how many times 10 times the probability of this event will be you can say a let's say first case it will be 1 by 2 raised to power 10 and 1 by 2 raised to power 10 represents uh, corresponding to every event you can say corresponding to every event probability it represents a probability corresponding to every event so our total probability here the total probability will be the final answer will be 1 by 2 raised to power 10 will be there in all of them because getting a tail and getting a heads are half and half here so no matter where what you get heads or tails you will get 1 by 2 for each event here and then for the next consecutive tosses you will get 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 raised to power 10 here only number of ways are changing so i'm going to add for the case one that is 10c0 plus next will be 10c1 next will be you can say 9c2 next is uh, 8c3 plus next is uh, 8c3 after 8c3 7c4 last is 6c5 here so this many will be there you can calculate the total and divide by 2 raised to power 10 this will be our final answer and that will be all